Hi guys, it's Claire here from the Pilates Workshop. I'm just going to show you a few simple stretches you can do to mobilize your hips and low back. So come with me down onto the mat. We're going to start with um, a half kneeling position, so one foot forward, one foot back. And you're just going to press your pelvis forward, keeping the hips level so you don't want to hike up through one side. I'm going to do the left foot forward first, so you're stretching the front of your right hip. Draw your tummy on so that your low back is protected. And then what you can do is take the right arm up and that's going to bring the stretch a little bit more into your psoas here. So you take the right arm up and then you can side bend over towards the left side so you're opening up this right side more. And just enjoy that stretch through the right side, through the front of the right hip. Good, then coming back down, we're going to walk the left foot a little wider. Going to come down onto your hands. And this will be a bit of an inside thigh stretch for this left leg. Just hang out there. So you want to hold most of your stretches. You want to hold them for between 30 and 45 seconds, um, up to a minute is fine. Anything more than that, um, you're not going to get that much change in the muscle length. And then we can go into a bit of rotation. So you're going to twist through your upper back, twist back towards your left leg. And then if you can, you reach back and you grab your right foot. And then roll the left shoulder towards the ceiling or towards the sky. And just hold it there. Keep pressing the hips down towards the floor, towards the mat towards the ground. Good, release the foot down. Stretch the left leg back straight to straight and you can come into a bit of a hamstring stretch here. If you're quite inflexible through the back of the leg here, you may be better to have your hand resting on a chair or something like that so you can keep a flat back. You don't really want a rounded back in this position. You want to Try and lengthen the sit bones or the tailbone away and get a flat lower back and then you get more of a stretch down the back of the leg there into the hamstring. Curl the toes back, that enhances the stretch. Good, and you can sit all the way back onto your foot and go into the stretch that way as well if you feel a little bit you know, wobbly up on your knee. Nice, and then let's switch to the other side. So you're going to bring the right foot forward this time. Left leg back, left knee back. Press the pelvis forward. Draw the lower abs on. Squeeze into your left butt cheek back here. That'll help open up the front of the left hip. And then taking the left arm up, so you've got the left knee down. Left arm up, you're going to side bend towards the right. And go into that side stretch that way. Good, then walking the right foot out a little wider. Going to come down onto your hands. And this will be an, a stretch for the inside thigh on this right side. If you want to make this a little bit stronger, you can dig your toes in at the back there and lift up to a straight leg at the back. And this, and you can keep that leg up as you go into the rotation. But you don't have to, you can have the knee down. And then when we go into this next part where you grab the foot, you'll bring the knee down, bend the left knee, reach back, grab the left foot, if you need something to help you grab the foot, like a, you could get a magic circle or a yoga strap and just lasso your foot, roll your shoulder back, look back towards, look up towards the ceiling, keep pressing the hips down towards the floor and just really open up the front of that left hip, stretch the left quad. Enjoy that twist. Good, and then coming back, 
we're going to do a little bit of extension so coming up onto coming down to your tummy gonna press up into extension inhale coming down breathe in lift the head and neck and then exhale press through the hands to lift all the way up coming down Breathing in to lift up, breathing out, press through and check that your shoulders are sliding down away from your ears. Let's do three more of these. Good to have the feet a little bit apart. Keep drawing the tummy on as you lift up. Good. And then we're going to come all the way back into our child pose. Sit back towards the knees. Sit back with the hips towards the heels, I mean. Walk the hands across to one side and just breathe into the ribs on the other side. So you walk your hands across to the right, breathe into the left hand side of your rib cage. And then walk the hands across to the left. Breathe into the right side of the rib cage. Come back onto all fours. Now here, we're going to go and cross the foot, cross one leg in front of the other. And we're gonna sit back with a flat back, sit back towards the heels. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, sit back. So we're stretching deep into the hip, the external rotators around the left hip because I've crossed the right leg over the left. And lean back. When you sit back, you don't want to round the back on this one. You want to keep the back flat. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, stretch back. Just going to do two more. And last one. So all the way back as far as you can. Good, and then switching so that your other leg's in front. So for me, it's my left leg crossing over my right leg. And you sit back with a flat back. Stretch deep into those muscles around the hip. Draw the tummy on. Reach the sit bones away. Good. You can lean a bit towards that side, get a little bit more pressure into those muscles that kind of wrap around the outside of the hip joint there. Last one, draw the tummy on, lean back, stretch all the way back. Very good. Now coming onto all fours again, we're just going to do a few little rotations. So you're going to take the arm up on the inhale, exhale, reach it all the way through, get your shoulder down onto the ground. Inhale, coming up, exhale, reaching through. Inhale, going up, exhale, reaching through. Good, switching sides. So right hand stays down, left arm's going to reach up and then twist it back through. Reaching up and twisting through. I like to just press, leave the shoulder down and press into the, the hand that's on the mat to give myself a bit more rotation there. Last one, reaching up, twisting through. Good. Now we're just going to come and do a little bit of rolling from side to side just to stretch out the low back and then you'll be all done. So yeah, come and lay onto your back here. Arms out to the side, feet a little bit wide and just going to windmill the legs going from side to side. 
You get a bit more of a stretch through the front of the hip as well, which is nice. Just warming up that low back. Breathing out as you go from one side to the other. Try and get the knees all the way down to the ground. Good, and then bring the legs up into that tabletop position. You're gonna roll, take the legs all the way over to the, as far as you can, get a bit of a twist that way. Come back through the center, going all the way to the other side. Hug the knees through the middle, and you can just do a few gentle circles here. Even taking the legs apart, and just rolling the ball within the hip socket. Cool, and then coming to sitting up. And that's your little low back and hip stretch sequence. Good luck with that and uh, enjoy your day. <laughs>